video not available. Pull that. Maybe you just like. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Are we back? Oh, man. Wow. That okay. is rough. It shows we have all our bars and what is it, like 12 up? Yeah. So. I don't know what's going on, guys. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to try again, and hopefully this will let us watch the show. All right. All right. So we're going to turn the camera so you guys can see. We're at the very first of the booths. Turn the camera so you guys can see. All right. Here there we, we go. Are. All right. So, so the way this works is there's about a mile-long hallway of different <laughs> booths here. It really is a mile. Oh, hey. This, this right here, this looks like our lithium battery. <laughs> That's cool. What are, what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys? What are you guys selling here? You've got a lithionics battery there. Yeah. Well, real similar to the unit that you put inside. I think you did a proto with Schneider Electric and Zandrex. Yeah. 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 Basically the same battery. That's the same style that you put in. So we, we are actually a warehouse distribution in the Elkhart market for, for the smaller OEMs in the aftermarket. Okay. And then we're actually a manufacturer's representative. All okay. so right, right on. We, we sell to the OEMs who represent Xantrex and everything in that. Well, we love Xantrex. We have it in our rigs. It's, so. it's a great system. That is by far the most well-received the Really? Good to hear it. I think it's in Coachman. It's yes, in Coachman has one now. We just did a review on that. Midwest Automotive. Yeah, yep. we heard that. Seen theirs. Yes, yeah. we have seen theirs. So it's, cool. It's done well. Thank you. Keep it up. Thanks. Oh, the Pirate. Remember the Pirate? So we have a video on our website of the Pirate. We love their products. It's a hey, warm. And it, was, it was him. That's the guy that was in our video. Oh, a yes. Years ago. So it's heated water hoses, right? Yes. So here they are. They're awesome. <laughs> uh, and you're wearing the eye patch now. I like that. Yes, yes. I wasn't here last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Fitting. What else do we see here? Um, Wandering. So again, this is this is all going to be manufacturer oriented stuff. There's a lot of yeah. and dealer oriented. We stuff. We have a so few this. booths that we're gonna we want you guys to we're gonna stop at. We want to yeah. share some interesting things, but they're up a little bit further. Um, I don't know if you can see the Truma sign up ahead. Yeah, that's to where the, the left of them of the Truma booth is. This is the first one we've we've scouted out some ahead of time that we really want you to see. So yeah. there's Fusion. Now, that's actually the same company that makes a stereo active that we uh, did a review of a few weeks ago yeah we have a portable little stereo system from them <laughs> so we we like the we like the fusion so let's see we, we have a question that says are we answering questions and we can try <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we we're new at this try. so yeah, yeah as we see them come in we sure will okay all right so firefly to the left can you Yep. You want me to hold it, James, and you want to get in front of it? Sure, I will go uh, talk to the firefly guy. This is the first one we wanted to talk to. Can you get that? Yeah. All right, so we're checking out the firefly. Hello. Hi. Rob. Yes. Was it you we talked to this morning? You did. All right, so here we are. We're live. We're on YouTube. Oh. You're talking about firefly. Now, we see a lot of coaches now that have like these little all-in-one panels, you know, and some of them that you can control with an app right. and that sort of thing. So, you've got some over here that I thought were particularly interesting, like this newer series. And then these are wireless. These are wireless. So, can they be, could they be retrofit? Like, let's say they you can't. They can't. So, we've, we've had some discussions with that. We're actually was having the discussion offline here just a few minutes ago about that. And it would, it would be very expensive just for the time it took to do individual customized programming okay but so what is this can we talk about what this is first for yeah so this is a well maybe i should let you describe sure it. sure this is a 12 volt integration system so what we do is we take all the different processes that are run 12 volt in an rv and we control them through our uh, screen our touch screen here as well as these wireless Switches. Yeah, and they really are wireless. You were yeah. pulling one off today, and there's yeah. there's nothing there that you'd have to wire in to do that. So for manufacturers, obviously, that's a that's huge because right. it's less wiring they have to run for switches. And for consumers, this is great because there's there's an app interface to this. There is right? an app interface for this. It's just so user friendly. I love that about this. 
Yeah. This this is not hooked. Up, my app is not hooked up to the system, but I can very quickly disconnect and reconnect to this, and I could control everything in the unit from about a hundred feet around the unit. Okay, so it's so a hundred feet. That's you're doing better than Bluetooth, then, right? Uh, we're we're the same type of uh, network that Bluetooth signal? is. Yes, okay. it's the same signal. Okay. Um, so the great thing is, you could be in bed. Everybody's got their phone in bed. Right. Somebody asked, what about for renovators for the fire hall? For yeah, again, it's, it's it, it relies on multiplex wiring, right? Yes, it does. So you have to have a coach that's got multiplex wiring in it to begin with. Correct. If you uh, had that, then it would yeah, still be I mean, tough. It'd still be, be very expensive involved. for programming. Yeah. yeah. And we just at this point because the company is growing and we are bringing new products to market, trying to stay on the cusp of the leading edge. Yeah. That. I don't have the programming time. I just right. don't have the resources. Right. But if you see a coach that has this available in it from the factory, this is an excellent, easy interface for anyone to understand. Just you, you don't. You, you don't. There's no learning curve. Yeah, you just no walk up curve. to it yeah. and, yeah. and you, you want your lights. Use it. Push the icon. There's all the different lights in the unit. So from entry to your main to your rear, you want climate. There's your front and rear thermostats, the fans. Slide You're, rooms, the whole bit. Yeah, slide rooms here. Um, so there's all the slides on that, uh, including the awnings. So you put awnings in and out. So I also can, again, I can do that from the phone app. Okay. So I a uh, storm comes in the middle of the night, my awning's out. You don't have to get I don't have bed. to get out of bed and go outside That's to, awesome. to bring the awning in. I can do it from, from, bed. In, from bed. That's awesome. So. All right, Rob, so not something people can buy aftermarket, but no. if you see a coach that's got the Firefly system in it, it's very easy We're and, and well worth your time. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, Rob. Well, thank you. Right. Thank you both. See you later. Have a great day. All right. Steph, why don't you uh, hop up front now? All right, well, you got to swing. Just everybody say hi to the Truma gang. We love our Truma. There they are. Hi, guys. Hello. Tomorrow, they put on this huge Chris Kindle marked... Yeah, it's a, like a German Event. Christmas celebration. And so their whole booth gets to be Christmas looking and it's pretty awesome here. Lots of mulled wine and other things. Oh, also Wendy had asked about if Volta was here and Volta if we could is here. So if we could swing by there, Wendy was curious about Volta. They're about a mile down the road, so if our phone doesn't cut out in the meantime, we will try to swing by Volta for you, Wendy. Okay. Let's see. Next, oh, Camco. We walked right by Camco. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got, We want to show you something interesting at Camco. Um, you all heard of the Anderson levelers. A lot of people like them. We did a review. They weren't for us, but there's a product that Camco has that is a lot like the Anderson levelers, but it's like a third of the price. And here they are, the curved levelers. How about we switch, James? Okay. I'll come behind. You explain them. Okay. So we did a review of the Anderson levelers and you know, we get it, but they didn't work for us. But a lot of people really like them, especially for trailers. Well, these are the same idea. They have the same locking thing as the Anderson levelers, but they really are. They're like a third of the price of the, like you get a set of two for, for it was like 60 bucks or something. And Anderson's were like 50 for one or something like that. So this was a product here at Camco that I hadn't seen before, but I was particularly interested in. So they have all the other stuff that you normally see at RV shows, and they had a, they had a set of something that Steph was interested in. So I'm taking that camera from you. All right. Well, I love like the cutesy stuff, the design stuff. So anyway, they have these cute plastic plates. They're real thin, and they have a camping theme. This one says "Life is better at the campsite," and. And I don't know, I, li I like stuff like that. So that was the thing, while James was looking at the levelers, I was looking at the dishes in this booth. It says we have a very bad connection, Ooh. so let's move towards All right, the let's get away from the bad connection. Boy, bummer, man. Okay, so. We're still walking. Um, let's see, we got Blue Ox here. You want me to, you, want, you go in front. Okay. Okay, so a lot. I don't. I didn't count, but we actually had. We saw a lot of financial institutions represented here. They're for the dealers, right? You know, if you go to the dealer and you want financing for your motorhome, that's uh, something that you would be interested in. But this one, here we go. This Road IQ system. This is something that I thought was pretty interesting. 
Hey, can we talk to you about this, sure. Rob? Sure. Hi, Rob. I'm James from Fitter. Nice to meet you. You're, you're live on YouTube. I hope that's okay. No, that's fine. All right. So, we got to drive a coach recently with something similar to this. It gives you like the bird's eye view of the whole coach. Right. So, how does this work? You've got like six inputs here. I didn't realize it had that many. How does it work? And can it be retrofit into coaches that don't have it already? Like, could you put it in after? Um, typically, we, we like to install at the OEM level because as they're building the coach, they can run all the cabling and things behind the walls. Right. Um, doing an aftermarket version of this would be a lot more complicated. Not saying, you know, it could, it could be done. It's not impossible. Yeah, right. it's, it's possible, but we like to, to install at the OEM level. We're actually able to do this by installing uh, six cameras which are mounted at the top of the RV on uh, strategic locations and they're face down. Okay. Uh, typ with typical uh, surround view systems you see... Oh, that's very distorted. That's yes. not you, is it? This is Mercedes, actually. We have our, our Road IQ system. We pitted it against a Mercedes surround view system. And as you can see, ours looks a lot a lot more clear. Right. I don't, I don't know if, it, if you're... Or not, but I, at first I thought it was just kind of like eye candy fluff and I thought it was silly and like but then once I started driving with it I'm like oh my gosh if you're driving a 43 foot RV you're absolutely. definitely going to want to be able to see you know around the entire thing so absolutely so so road IQ most likely people would find this built into coaches like what, what are some of the coaches that are building this in now so we're we're, we're doing pilots uh, we've done some with with Tiffin and, okay. and Rev uh, okay. We're continuing to work with some, some key OEMs to try to get this technology put in as a standard option for, for consumers as well. Right. In addition, we also have our blind spot detection this year, which can use the same box. Okay. So this technology... You can get both with one... Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. So, so yeah, that's, that's what we're working towards uh, in the future to try to get this as a standard offering. So. All right. Well, hopefully uh, the people that see this will get excited about it and they'll start asking for it. Yeah, so. great. Thanks, Rob. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. All right. And we're off. All right. All right, we're walking. We're walking. What's next? It's a busy show. I should also mention there's a pub crawl coming up at 4.30, so... I don't know what this place is going to be like in about 20 minutes, but we'll see. Somebody just mentioned the signal is weak. We're trying to get out of this bad signal area, guys. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get out of the bad signal area. Here, give me this, and then let's do this. Okay. Let's see. It says we have a poor connection Hi. still, but... Okay. All right, here we go. We're getting a little better now. At least I'm not getting the warning about the poor connection. Okay, so we're moving on to a larger room. We're getting close to some of the bigger manufacturers. <laughs> we're coming up on Dometic. No, we're not going to the pub crawl. <laughs> <laughs> you so, might not be. <laughs> so now we're here, we're coming up to this area in the middle where some of the big dogs are. Yes, yes. Coming up on Carefree to the right. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they're the, uh, the awning people there. Yes, there's even a helicopter on top of an RV up here. So I hope we'll have good service and we can show that to you yeah. <laughs> coming up. All right, so I think there was one here. Uh, the hitches. Well, we definitely want to go over to um, the Organized Obi section. Right, we saw Organized Obi here. We're going to take you by to see them. We're also going to look at something at Eric Cell. They have something that I think was just absolutely Ooh, fantastic, yes, and really Steph, you liked can, it too. We can get there without cutting out first. So yeah. All right. So here's uh, here's Dometic. So yeah, we just learned something new about Dometic. They actually have a high efficiency air conditioner for the roofs of rigs. And yeah, there's uh, a Penguin and there's a Penguin high efficiency yeah, and a we brisk didn't know and a brisk that. high efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have, didn't know. They don't. They, they don't make much of a stink about it on their right. website. They don't even have one here to demo, but they just mentioned it in passing, and we found it interesting. Apparently, there's not a lot of demand for it or interest in high efficiency, which is with odd. Lith, but with lithium coming out, you would think that it would have more of a. All right, here's one boy. We, maybe these guys would help us with our very poor connection. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. We need a wine guard. Product. We need a wine guard because it says we have a very bad connection. Can you help? <laughs> <laughs> right on. So Eric Sell to the left. Eric Sell to the okay. left. Okay. So here's to hoping the connection improves. All right, Steph, I'm going to turn this mic around and you go and show us the, the thing that you know right where it is. Excuse me. Okay, so 
this window, you can't see through it, right? <laughs> With the flick of a switch, it goes from not being able to see through it to clear. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> yeah, and then, really, it's just a switch. Oh, yes. It's a, it's a switch. So here's the switch. Is there someone here who can talk about this on camera? That lady right there. This lady right here. No, no, not me. Who wants to talk about this? I can talk about it. Yay. Okay. What are we calling this because I love it and I want it? You want it. Okay, it's called Window Tech. Window Tech. It's by the United Shade brand of Air Excel. Okay. Um, and it is a liquid crystal technology. And it is simple as you said. Flip a switch and your window becomes opaque. And then you can see through it as well, just from a touch of a switch. So is that a, is that a film that goes on? It is it? a film. It's a, a film that um, can go on uh, at the OEM level or an aftermarket okay, level. you can do it's it all, aftermarket. It's That's all huge. custom. Okay. Um, so what we would do is have CAD drawings of the windows, because mm -hmm. um, they would be die cut then, right. uh, or templates of the window. Okay. We want to be able to assure that every bit of the window is, is covered. Uh, being covered. Exactly. It's a 12 volt uh, oh. or even 120. You okay. hook it up to your electrical switch and then you can operate it. Also, we'll be able to be operated with a video, or with a video, because I'm looking at the video, with a remote. Okay. Also, eventually, with a, an app, Wi Fi, awesome. with, with your well, If it's 12 volt, we can control it with one of those fireflies. Absolutely. Or something. Absolutely. Okay. So, we could close um, the windows from not even inside the van. That is awesome. Isn't that awesome? How, so, so, can I get it now? You or? can get it now. Really? Absolutely. Yes. Russell wants to know what's the company that makes the window tech? With a United Shade, we're actually Shade. a distributor of. We don't manufacture this at our factory, okay. uh, but, but we would be a distributor of it. Somebody did ask how much money for the window, but I don't think that. I don't think it, it, that's the size of the it window. It is absolutely and, going to be depend on the size, yeah. uh, but I will say it it's, a high, end, yeah. it's a high end product. But look how cool it is. I know. You know, the, it, it's it, for it's people a, that just have to have exactly. it. Exactly. Who wants to do, do, deal with cords anymore? Right. You know, why not? This flip is it on and this flip is fantastic. Uh, and you we'll, see a lot of this now at high end um, bars, bars and in hotels major cities. And, yeah. but you see it in the bathroom, so it freaks people out when they walk in and they say, well, "How can I see out?" But these yeah. people can't see me. So. Yeah. Okay. This is fantastic, and and I'm gonna come back when we're done with this and get your card because okay. I, I gotta have. I have this. A, some little. Also. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, and your name again? My name is Tina Sharp. Tina. Tina, it's been fantastic. Do we have another question? Uh, just a, a price question. Just remember, I bought yeah. a a lot, but depends on the size of your window. It's right. it's not going to be a, a. It's not comparable to your current window coverings right now. It yeah. is going to be a high end. Okay. Thank you, Tina. Uh huh. Thank you. All right. Are you guys with the. Um... The Fit RV. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. So. Organized Obi is right around here, and they had something new that we really wanted to show you. They are, I think, over there. Yes. All right, let's switch. Okay. All right, you guys. We're walking over to Organized Obi. We love them. It's storage. It's like different kinds of storage options, and we have a bunch in our rig. Hey. Well, hello. Long time no see. The Guys, fit RV. This is Jason from Organized Obi. We met him. When was that? Was it a year ago or two, two years, years ago? Two years ago, yeah. Two absolutely. years ago, and it's completely transformed our RV. So, who are you and what is your product here? Well, it is organizedobi.com. I am Jason. I am Obi, actually. Um, we manufacture and distribute products to make your life easier um, when you're on the road, uh, including organizational products like cargo nets, tie down products. We do a lot of magnets. Just a lot of cool stuff to make your RV just that much easier in your experience, just that much more enjoyable. It's, such a, it's a small, simple thing, but it really does change, you know, your organization and how you use your rig when you got some of these up in the, in the RV. Absolutely, especially like a Class B where you're really limited for space, so the only place you have to put your items is in a specific place they're designed to go. And I know James is very good at that, and he's oh, utilized yeah. us. In, in the best way possible, and he's a perfect example. You guys are a perfect example of what exactly you can do with our product. Line. Well, yeah, James likes organization, so we <laughs> definitely so, have a thing. Sure. Okay. Okay, okay, new thing. We have several new uh, cargo net organizers coming out. Um, this is currently on the market. This okay. is a peel and stick cell phone or remote holder. Peel no and stick. No screws. Peel and stick. I know the Travato owners out there are going to love that. Yeah, that's my kind of mod. In. 
Um, and this, these will hold up. Uh, okay. They're fantastic. Small holes, elasticated netting. How, how tight so you can is that? Really, you oh, got. Yeah. We got plenty of room in there. We could yeah. probably put three or four phones. We could get there. both of our phones in there. I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Like oh, that. Yeah. And these are available in two different sizes. Currently, have a oh, small okay. one and a larger one. Okay. Both available on organizedobe.com. And then here at the end of the month, we have our larger tablet or magazine holder. Right. Same exact setup will be available on OrganizedOB.com as well. Nice. This one, however, will not be a peel and stick because it is designed to hold a little bit more weight. We did just want this one to be screw mounted. Okay, But right in on. your bunk areas, kitchen areas, bath areas, uh, just a fantastic way to continue keeping organized. And awesome. Jason is working on a new product right now. Can you really quickly show us your yeah. your magnet, what, what the screen is back here? Because this well, is awesome. A lot of you put uh, screens on, on the rear of your Class Bs or um, on the side door. Uh, what we've done here in a lot of instances you have to use velcro or mechanical fasteners in order to get those up and they can be a real yeah. pain to fight. Ours with. is snaps. Absolutely. Yeah. So what we've done is we've developed a magnetized system where that's just going to kick click in place and you'll be able to put your screen up and take it down in under 20 seconds. That's fantastic and I think magnets are an underused option in the RV because yeah. then you're not drilling in, you don't have the snaps in the way, it's just cleaner. You so. don't have mechanical fasteners to break, you're kind of taking human error out of things. Right, place, so. right, very cool. Well, what else? We got the whole wall of different products back here. We have the whole wall of the, kind of the custom stuff we do that you'll see in coaches coming directly um, from, their, from their manufacturers. Um, but you can add any of these aftermarket. Yeah, these oh, are absolutely. aftermarket. A lot of them can Easy. be added aftermarket. We have, gosh, probably three dozen different nets available online. Um, we've added actually some more that are um, that mount with 3M VHB adhesive snaps for okay. organization. So once again, no drilling, peel, stick, snap on head down the road, organize. That's right on. Goal. And then you have some uh, more magnet stuff we over do. here. We so. do. <laughs> And once What's again, this? people like to see things just kind of latch together. So yep. we've developed a variety of products. This one here mounts on a baggage door lip. This mounts on the side of the coach. So when you lift your baggage door up, it clicks to the side of the coach. Nice. And we've developed a round profile. So even if you get it a little crooked, uh -huh. it still looks like it was meant to be there. It looks okay. Absolutely. And we've kind of extended that into various other magnetic options. Okay. We have these here, which are great for interior swing doors as well as your exterior entrance door. So when you open it, it clicks to the side of the unit right. or um, interiorly, your doors don't swing. And some of these doors are very light. You open them too fast. Right. So it's kind of a protector to Absolutely. stop kind of product. And then we have a variety of other magnet latches for cabinet door applications. Um, just anywhere you want a, something to click, we've got a magnet that can probably do that for you. Nice. Awesome. Don't forget to tell them about our discount. Oh though. yes, if you come to the Fit RV website, we offer a discount. So come come through if our If you site. shop at organizedobe.com and in a promotional code box at checkout, type in the Fit RV. Oh yes. That's the Fit That'll RV and you'll get that discount. So we hope to see you there. Yes. Awesome. And thanks for offering our readers that discount. We Absolutely. No, we that. appreciate you guys and love to see what you guys do out there. You live a wonderful RV lifestyle. We're Perfect lucky. example of what can be done uh, with an right RV. On. That's so right. It's All right. Good to see you, Jason. Good to see you guys. We'll see you again. Right. Thank you, James. Thanks. All right. Moving on. Now, we're coming up to Lippert, and they have, they actually have a helicopter on top of this no, RV. I think that's Lippert. Oh, I it's not? It's, no, I don't know who that is. But well, let's go see. There's a helicopter. Don't trip. There's. We can get that out of that sun quickly. All right, so we're walking by the lipper. Yeah, that's not lipper. Are you getting it? Yeah, I'm getting it. There's a helicopter. What if the pub crawl goes up there? <laughs> okay. Well, clearly the pub crawl is going on here. If, if you wonder why your RVs cost so much, now you know. We got helicopters and open bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a picture of it. Can you get that? It's actually going. Oh my gosh, check that out. He's gonna, is he going to land? Okay, we got to watch this for a minute. We're videotaping a video. <laughs> oh, wow. On the RV. I wow. Got up there. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we're going this way. Wait, I'm going to show them this. You what? hold this. Okay. Okay, so we're here. This is Thetford slash Norcold, that family of products. 
and we have a composting toilet, but I still appreciate a good sewer hose. So they were telling me about this Titan sewer hose. The thing that I liked about this one, I wonder if I could open one up or if they get mad at me. The thing I liked about this one is that it did not have, and I can't open it, but there's no metal inside the sewer hose. So that's just like thermoformed and it's rigid. So you get the effect of the rigid spiral hose, but there's no metal. Because the thing with the metal inside those hoses is it can rust and it can make pinholes in the hose. That won't happen with it. You can see they're crushing on it, walking on it, whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to point out this hose because I liked it because it doesn't have the spring in it. And that's here in the Norcold. Norcold slash Thetford. There we go. All right. But now we're gonna we're gonna go into. I'm really worried about the connection here because we're gonna go into the area that's kind of affectionately known as the pit. So we're going this way. And right. Boyd, I saw your comment come in that that helicopter won't fit on top of our RV Lance. But I don't know if if you put that challenge to James, you'd probably find a way. <laughs> Okay, so we're walking to another section of the show. Hi guys! And we're actually going to go down, no, are we going to go down the arena floor first? No, let's go to the, go to the faucet guys first. Okay, we're going to show you a faucet thing next. Bear with us, we're doing a little bit of walking Break here. Left. Right. So you can see we get our exercise at this show. It's a really long walk from one end to the next, and that's not even including the part where all the RVs are. And by the way, if you're watching right now, tomorrow at 4.30, we're gonna be doing a live YouTube chat with Russ Garfin, but the connection will be better because I we're promise. gonna be in the yes. Winnebago booth, we and we will the have connection. the Winnebago Wi-Fi in that booth, and we didn't have Wi-Fi on this end of the building. So, we're almost there, bear with us. I don't know I've never driven one. Truck campers? Yeah, that's a great question. I've never driven a like, truck. Like do, do they hit yeah, do, do they hit wind as yeah, much as like a big class A diesel would or unknown. We're not sure. I actually don't, don't even know lighter. anybody who owns a truck camper. The stream is degrading. Oh we're no. Trying. Okay, we're we're trying. Stay with us. Some more booths. Yep. Oh, Bill Steen shocks. Hey, do you guys make shocks for the ProMaster yet? We do. Yeah. You, you make do? shocks for the ProMaster. We do. Yes. Right You're live on, on YouTube. Yes. Oh, hey guys. We have a ProMaster based RV. So okay. We do. Okay. So yeah. We do have ProMaster fit. Well, yeah, I have a nice All right. All right. Yep. Bill Steen. Bill Steen. You got a card? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a card. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Hang yeah. on, guys. <laughs> I'm working Have it. Fun, I'm working guys. it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So a couple more booths down. We've got more RV protection, insurance stuff, like we mentioned. Okay. Let's see what else. Trailer tires. So yeah, you're seeing. The faucet guy is coming. I yes. know he's coming. There's a lot of OEM kind of stuff. Yeah. and you can show them. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can show them because I, I, I'm not sure that all the stuff is going to work. They may have turned it off when they left, but we had someone here who actually was going to explain why it is that when you shut off the water in the RV shower, it still leaks. It's on purpose. We had someone who was going to explain that. Is it Fred? <laughs> All right, Fred. Fred wants to explain it, but you're not the official Dura Fawcett representative. But <laughs> or it leaks. Sorry, Mr. B, sir. <laughs> he says he feels like he's watching on his grandma's TV. Connection's <laughs> so bad. You guys just run around and harass people. Yes, we're <laughs> harassing people. Thanks, Maxwell. <laughs> we're trying. There he is. He's, he's here, he showed up. Get in here. Come on, my hands are all wet now. All right, okay, what's we, going on? we've got Daryl. Yeah. yeah, so a washer had fallen out. That's 
I put it back in. Okay, Daryl, you're live on YouTube on a very <laughs> poor connection. So Daryl is with Dura Fawcett, and we asked him earlier today why it is that the showers in RVs continue to leak when you actually shut them off at the... So go ahead and show us. That's, that's on, and that's typical of what most people experience. Correct. Why? It's your trickle switch, so it's anti-siphoning, so you don't have backflow if the water happens to drop down. You have a tub full of water, so you don't create suction to get that dirty water back into your fresh water and okay. contaminate your water. So, so my, my theory was that it was an anti-scalding feature, but it's not that at all. It's, it's to keep the, the water from being sucked the back into the dirty water back into your fresh water. Okay. And so when it's on, and then when it's off, and you get a trickle, so you constantly have water pushing out, so right. you don't get the suction coming back. Yeah. But do you have models of, of faucets that don't drip like that? Yeah, we do have some that have on, off, and... Uh, do you have one here? No, I do not, I'm sorry. But there are, is there something that people should look for when they're looking for a particular shower head that doesn't leak? Uh, we have one that we actually come with an on-off switch down at the bottom that you can turn on and off. Mm -hmm. It'll completely shut the water off 100%. Okay. And it, does that have a name for that feature or anything? Uh, it's our it's our DFSA162 is the actual part number. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Daryl, thank you. We can shut this off. Running your pump. No, that's all right. I appreciate it. Thanks for the explanation. No problem. I just Thank want you. People, I, we did a blog post about this, and there were questions, so I just wanted to okay. get it out there for real. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right. Down to the pit. Now Thanks. we're going down to the pit. Which way is row one ten? Up here. Let's go up this way. All right, guys. You're going to get a great view of the pit from this from this ramp. So this will be interesting. Come on in. We're actually going into the arena floor here. Oh, well, we're going to take just a quick video so they, so you can see it. So this is this is where we're going down there. So tons of vendors down in this section. We call it the pit, tons but it's hard to get to, so we got to walk around. We got to go to the back, or do you want to go to the front? All right, let's go. It looks like that one's closer. Let's go to the All back. All right, guys, gotta go around. And there's, there's nothing here. So here, let's let's flip the camera back around. You flip that mic. Okay. We're, we're almost there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. So now we're in a back part of the yeah, now we're in the, You're getting a tour of the, the back Kentucky end. The Kentucky Exposition Center. We're just trying to get down into the pit there. Looking. Oh, I think I see the ramp coming. Okay, there we go. <sighs> yes. I probably should have wore my running shoes today instead of yeah. high heel boots. This way they can all hear smart. you. Is this it? No. Smarty smart. Still going. <laughs> we're going to get in the pit. It's going to be worth it, I promise. Yeah, the pit's Almost cool. Pit. Okay, all we're right. going to turn the camera now. Turn it around. <laughs> nope. Turn it around, really. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's to open the connection. All right, here's the pit. <laughs> Oh, very bad connection now. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's first try to find that. Uh, what do you call it? That uh, that little stove that you found earlier today. Okay. The stove was down one of these aisles. I'm not sure which. So come on, let's walk down this aisle. Here's a new kind of. Oh, somebody also wanted Volta. We're close to Volta right Volta. now. Let's, let's, let's go, go over, over there. there. On this far wall? They are. They're, okay. right, they're right here. They're right here on the left. On the left. Okay. Here, you take Ta -da. Okay. Who's, who's Volta? Who here is Volta? There's two guys in black. Two guys in black. Hi. Hey. We're putting you on the spot. Hi. For Hi. We're doing you're, on, you're on YouTube Live. live. Right. One of our readers said, Is Volta there and can you stop by their booth? So here we are. So Welcome. here you go. So what is Volta? Uh, Volta is an advanced energy company where we provide automotive-based uh, advanced lithium-ion technology for RVs, marine, and special heavy equipment. So if you think about the technology that might be in a uh, Chevy Volt or uh, a Nissan Leaf, uh, this, is, this is that type of technology. It's called 
in MC, nickel manganese Okay, cobalt. so it is a different battery chemistry than different, lithium ion phosphate. Yep, is it chemistry. more energy dense? Three times on average. Oh, so that's how you get so many amp, well, you're doing it in watt hours here. We're doing it in watt hours because, because amp hours, exactly. And it won't translate. Okay. Amp hours is a leftover from the 12 volt world. Right. And it's because we've been doing it for 100 years. Right. The way the future will be, it's a lot easier to talk in watt hours. Because it's and, consistent and across. It's consistent, it makes more sense. Everyone knows how many gallons of fuel I take and how right. much gallons it takes for me to go a certain distance. Right. Somebody asked what it would take to retrofit in one of their, in their camper van. Is that well, possible? Show the batteries. It's, it's a substantial thing you got to make room for. Um, yeah, so it depends. It usually is a replacement. So it's generator size. Yeah, usually we eliminate a generator. Um, right. Like, say you got a B. Yep. Yes. We do. And you got the annoying little generator sounds. You can pull the generator out. This will be replaced in its place. You mount our use our alternator. Our alternator. This is equivalent to an eight thousand watt generator. Okay. And it's under the hood. Right. So it's, it's going to be four times more powerful than the generator you had today. It can actually charge this battery in under an hour. Okay. And this battery can offer with air conditioning three to six hours of runtime with your air conditioner running. Right. We've got a we've got a regular twelve volt five hundred and twenty five amp hour battery that's. This neighborhood, capacity-wise. Okay. This one would be a capacity-wise, if you did it back to amp hours, is more like a thousand, I think. I'd have to remember. You're like 13 volts, 13.5. This is, this comes out at 58 volts. Oh, wow. So this is 58 volts, 51 nominal, 58 volts peak, but 51 nominal um, is its output, and it's, so it's, it's a total of 6,700 watt hours. Total okay. Storage. So if somebody wanted to retrofit this into their camper van, it's it's a financial investment though, right? It'd it's be an investment. A, and it's an engineering challenge as well. Um, we try not to make an engineering challenge. We, we sell you, a kit. Because everything else is 12 volt, right? So how, do you step it down to get back to 12 volts? Yes. For, okay. So if you got an older coach and you got a 12 volt load, we offer a converter. You hook to the 12 volts, but at most everything else goes to 120. Right. So a lot of this, this thing allows you to use residential type air refrigeration. You right. can use more you know, home detail type parts right. without worrying about the 12 volts or lower voltages. Um, but we can pretty much provide this tools to retrofit any solution. Okay, interesting. And is it Volta.com if people want to find out more info or? Yep, you can get you can get uh, most of information on Volta, and then you can find people who are doing post sale conversions. Mm -hmm. uh, we have converters on the site that you can direct to their website, so they'll help help you get in contact with somebody that would give you a bid or what it takes to convert a coach. And somebody just wanted to know, just to confirm that you can charge these with solar, like they will yes. they'll work with solar. Yes, they do. Okay. okay. Okay, cool. All right, hey, Jack. You're welcome, thank you very Wendy. Much. Thank you. Do you sing? No, I don't sing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one day older, literally one day older. Than the other the Jack other Johnson. Jack Johnson. Jack. All right. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Thank you so much. All right. There we go. We're taking requests. Yes. Oh, so somebody asked if, about Cinderella. Can you? Cinderella? Remember the incinerating toilet? Oh, they are not here. Unfortunately, there's lots of candy here, and it's very <laughs> tempting. All right, I think you were, were wanting to go one row over. And he goes up towards the front, right? Here, let me let you. Beer. Beer. Oh, here's Antrex. So Xantrex is the inverter that we have. And hey, Steve Carlson. That's Steve with Xantrex. Um, you all probably have seen Lance's system. It's because of these guys that we have it. And it's awesome. Their inverters are fantastic. So bye. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Hello. Sorry. Just a quick we're gonna hi. Come back. Hey. Yeah, we're going to come back and see you. It's always like a reunion at these shows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. It must be the next row over. Mm. Okay, but let's see what else we see on this row. Okay. Step above, stable steps. That's cool. That's going to be for the bigger rigs. We tend to, our focus is more on the vans and small RV living. So some of that stuff is just over our head. Is it here? Is there an area here cut out some of your countertops? All right, this is looking traditional RV show. Yeah, right, yeah. right, some aftermarket stuff, some grills, very cool. 
Oh, and look at, okay, we gotta stop here because I love things like this, the drink holders. And, and oh, look at this one, cute. You got, you have, well, obviously, we're not gonna carry this in our camper van, but I still love this kind of stuff. <laughs> Hi, thank you. All right, try one okay. more row. Do we, do, someone asked, do we know everyone in the industry? <laughs> Someday we just might. So, some days it feels like it. Here it is, turn left. Left, yay, okay. This is a total Steph product. So you know in our camper van, in most camper vans, you don't have an oven. And so you're not gonna cook with an oven. Well, these guys have found a solution to that. There he is. So this little cooktop goes on top of your propane burner in your camper van, and it works as an oven. So, hi, we met earlier hi. today. Yes, hi, I'm Joran. Tell me your name again. Joran. You're on, and you're yes. from Sweden, right? I'm from Sweden, yes, He's I from am. Sweden. Yeah. And so what is your product? Tell us My about this. My product is a stove top oven. It is a three-piece product. And it works like this. You put your ingredients here, put this one on the stove, and you get a distance between the heat and the food uh, holder. So there's air in there, not water. Not water, just air heating okay. up the underside. Yes. And the heat also goes through the construction. Oh, sure. Hit the lid, and now you have an oven with heat from two sides. And you have pictures of baked bread, and it's brown crusted and very nice. So <laughs> Yeah, you can do anything. Yeah. Bread. Pizza, french fries, fish, meat. So yeah, this is a great product for in the camper van. Yeah. It seems to me. Well, thank you for sharing your product. Thank you, thank you very much. Where, where can people get these? Oh, where can we get them? Amazon.com, Amazon, right? Amazon, yes. So look it up. It's Omnia, O-M-N-I-A. Yes? Yes. And on, on Amazon, it's good to, to have stove top oven. Search, search stove, stove top, top oven. oven. Yeah, okay. Find it. All right. Well, it's a great product. Thank you. Thanks right. for Thank bringing you. it to Somebody the show. The name. Let me let me get a good picture of the name here. There's the name. Omnia stove top oven. Here we go. I love other people are asking questions because I'm not the only one who's interested in this one. <laughs> Yeah, okay. that's and, awesome. And one other thing I wanted to ask, you said this has like a pretty big user community over in Europe with people oh, sharing yes. recipes and stuff. Yes, yeah, a social media community. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. In Sweden, Germany, Norway, they exchange recipes and uh, give each other ideas. It's really thousands of people. I'm going to look for that and yeah, check yeah. that out. I think one of these is in our future. <laughs> we just got to make some space and land yeah. for it. <laughs> All, right. All right, thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do right. you want to go check out that water tank? Yes. Okay, so we're make sure. Somebody said it was, it was better when you were holding the camera. I don't yeah. know what that meant. I like that person. All right. Yes, here we go. Somebody else said to slow down. They couldn't see all the business names. So I saw the question about Advanced RV, if they have a presence here. And they're actually here at the show, but they don't have their own booth. And we ran into them, which was interesting. We just saw them down here in the pit not all that long ago. But right. they don't have a booth. Okay. You work in Seaflow? Yes, I do. Hi. Do you mind being live on YouTube right now? Yeah, I still have my live right now. Right this second. Oh, how you guys doing? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, nobody is. That's right. <laughs> we have surprised him. Okay, so when I look for water pumps in our, like if I wanted to replace the water pump in our RV, one of the things I would look for would be a variable speed pump. And Absolutely. you have that, right? And this little rig actually demonstrates pretty well what that does right Absolutely. so is, is it on right now yes yes it is. okay so in a normal rv situation if you turn on the water just a little bit you'll get this it, 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 it of water it's cycling but this one you get a nice steady stream the pump is cycling a bit but it's not really interrupting the stream too much you get a nice steady stream all the way up to a full flow so that's what i mean by a variable speed pump and these pumps apparently are but this rig that you've got set up here Explain this, because there are two pumps in tandem, or are they in series yeah, so and parallel? Yeah, they're in tandem, or? parallel, which however you want to do it. So, <clears throat> so once you turn on one, as you mentioned, you'll have that variable flow. There's not really that much cycling, and if you only want to demand a small amount of water, you'll get it. Because sometimes you only need a little bit to brush your teeth or do whatever you'd like. But as you start doing more, there's your full three gallons per minute. Once, the, once you turn on more fixtures, let's say you have your sink on, your faucet, your dishwasher, you'll turn on another one. 
now it's going to be demanding more than just three gallons and that activates the second, second pump because it realizes the pressure dropping and it, once the pressure drops it activates the pump so now you could have a full six gpm instead of just three gallons per minute for each one so it's really impressive because uh, some some rvs are a lot larger and you want the higher flow also let's say that one of these pumps fails you know you'll have a second one that'll still be able to supply you with water not at six gallons per minute but at three right so a lot of the times if you have one pump and it and it doesn't you know it, it fails you have no water so with this one you have a backup pretty much. So this is something for like the bigger rigs, clearly, yes, because in our little van, I, I don't know that we it's even have four fixtures. No, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good little pump, and it's, it's got the variable speed, which a lot of people look for, and without the cycling, it actually uh, makes the life of the, the pump last a lot longer. One of the main really? issues, yeah, one of the main issues is if a pump is constantly cycling and that pressure switch is going on and off, mm -hmm. the pump's going to you know, wear, wear it out. So this actually makes the pump live a lot longer. Oh, interesting. Yeah. All right, well, when it is time to replace our pump, you can bet I'm going for one with variable speed, and I've got your card. Yes, yeah, Seaflow, so. it has a four-year warranty. Uh, we're located right in Wooddale, and visit seaflowusa.com for any more information. Okay, and then this one, this is a macerator. So a lot of people see macerators, you know, like in like an RV walkthrough video, but you don't actually see it working, right? But this one is actually set up to run, and that's one of the reasons why I came here, because I like it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So this has a vertical lift, it could vertically suck uh, self-prime 12 feet. It's one of the only macerators in the industry, only uh, one of the only macerators in the industry that you can actually run dry for up to a minute. Most macerators, due to the rubber impeller, which it needs in order to, to have debris flow through it and yeah. not get clogged, has a rubber impeller. But the problem is, when you want to self-prime, it runs dry. Now when it runs dry, it can it's actually melt, up and warp and yeah, melt, melt the impeller and now you have a broken pump. But with this one, it can actually run dry for up to a minute, so it's unnecessary. It, it, it won't, it won't actually burn up, and in under a minute, it'll self-prime itself. But sometimes it'll take up to ten seconds. Other companies don't have that. And I just like doing this. Because it's <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah, it's, it is fun. This it's is cool. my. I, I made a tank of my own to demonstrate some black tank stuff. So. Yeah, and then uh, one other really quick cool thing is that most pumps only have a two blade chopping. This has four blades. So it actually is able to cut up a lot more uh, and allow the flow to go through a lot easier without it getting clogged. And if it ever does get clogged, you can screw off the back. And you'll see the shaft. Oh, right you got a your screwdriver. Yeah, you just take a flathead and, and manually turn it so you, know, you don't it have to worry about it. It doesn't get stuck. That. Okay. So, quick question. Just drop that. Don't uh, worry about it. Quick question is, if we had another macerator that went bad, could we put this, I mean, you've just got along with, uh, you know, with, with hose clamps. Yeah. Could we just put it in place of another macerator, 12 yeah, volts, it's all, gonna, it's all good? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the inland outlet is uh, an industry standard. Okay. So, uh, most macerators in the industry have the same inlet outlet. You also have the threads here, or you have the barb fitting. So, you have two options. Okay, so this would be a solid option for, being, for, for replacing one if you had a macerator Absolutely. that went bad. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, Didn't James. mean to put you on the spot. No, not at all. Please, it was nice seeing y'all. All right, <laughs> thanks. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we see. How much? How much longer do we have? Are we? Are we over an hour yet? Fifty minutes. Right. Fifty minutes. So what else do we see? I'm really trying not to eat candy on air. Okay. Isotherm. This is a fridge. Right. These Just are high com end. compressor fridges. Okay. All right. Anybody want to be on uh, on YouTube live right this moment? Uh, you want to be on YouTube right now? <laughs> you want to be live? <laughs> oh come on, we're not that bad. How's it going? All right. Okay. Hey. So I'm James. All right, Caesar. Right, so what we've got, what do we have here? I mean, I, I know isotherm from refrigeration, but what else have you got? Are these all fridges? Or? These are all fridges, fridge freezers. We have from our standard stainless steel finish line, which is our new clean touch, meaning no, no fingerprints, better. It's a, it's a stainless steel with a, with a coating on it. Okay. UV resistant, a little bit thicker of a door, a magnetic freezer compartment as far as I mean, that's a very clean looking fridge. And it's very. Yeah. It's very and then we have our more of our economical brand, which is we're in black and silver. Right. Same, same robust type of 
same same features you actually have on the actual stainless steel, but more for the knockable brand. Okay, so the big question that, that people have when they're looking at compressor refrigerators, how much energy do they use when they're running? When they're running, we're the leading in low power consumption. Oh, okay. So, meaning by also, we when it's running, it's only running like at 4 amps. 4 amps? 4 amps. So For something this size? From something this size, even to our big size. Really? Yeah. So the compressor itself compressor is just 4, four amps. 4 amps basically per day. And then um, how much it uses after that just depends on the duty cycle, just how on hot duty, it is out. Exactly. Is. exactly. Okay. Exactly. The, more, the more you open, the more is the compressor. You're actually, but remember, once you have it closed, the compressor is only not going to run as much as the time it is. Right. Okay, so 4 amps. That is, that is really not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. And then we have our drawer series. So we go from our regular 49 all the way down to our 130 liters. Oh wow. Fridge freezer. Oh well, that's same, trippy. Yeah, same same features with the same BD BD35 compressor. And then we have our new our new little guy right here. <laughs> which is that's a, a fridge? Big, yeah. It's a fridge and a freezer. You can actually adjust it to it. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So this one is basically, my desk. Yeah. So pretty much this one, it uses a micro compressor, so you, it's even a smaller compressor that you actually have. Oh wow, so what is that going to be, like 2 amps? Yeah, pretty much, it's even less. Wow. Like, well, it uses a 1.4 BD compressor. You can actually remote mount this compressor 5 feet away from it. So if you don't have the depth, you can actually move it around for I'm a little afraid, bit more. It's on a bracket there. Yeah, it's on a bracket. Wow. All right, so that's kind of cool. If you're doing a self-build, this seems like it would be really easy to install right. in a self-build kind of thing. So if you're using two amps, and you don't have to do anything special on right. your 12-volt side. Exactly. All right. Just like our similar with all of our products, you can actually, you don't have to use a flange to mount it as anchor points with inside the, okay. inside of the fridge. That's cool. And is that, tell me this is not a fridge that like you no, can lock are, up. No, this is where we put the candy, are, it's locked. <laughs> these are our safes. <laughs> okay. These are our electronic safes. Okay, it's a safe. Yeah. I thought it was like a, a locked fridge. Like, you know, this is, I'm putting my Rockstar energy drinks in the locked fridge. So <laughs> All right. Is, is Freightliner using your rig? Some, one of our readers just commented that Freightliner is using these. Freightliner uses our one of our different brands, which is the Indel B brand. But yeah, okay. ours are a little bit more, more, more robust, a little bit more stylish to to the market. All right. Cool. Thanks, Caesar. Thank hey, no problem. Appreciate it. Didn't Thanks, mean to put you on the spot. Like that. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So Wendy had a question. Yes. She was wondering how those compared to Nova Cool, but I didn't want to ask it in in the booth. So could you respond to that? I haven't tested a Nova Cool fridge, Wendy. Sorry, I don't know. Um, we can go up and ask the Nova Cool people if we have time and if our connection doesn't drop out. But all right. Sorry. Maybe I should have asked it in the booth, Wendy. Sorry, Wendy. All right. Built several remotes. What else do we have? I think everybody in this section is back at the pub crawl because it's kind of yeah, back here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of calmed down. So I think we are uh, we are tapering off to the pub crawl. Well, you've almost seen everything that's here. I think the, like this is the only aisle we haven't gone down, right? Well, Otherwise we we did at the front of it. We went down the front of this aisle. So okay. it's uh oh, I think it was something on the very far wall that I liked. Let's try this one. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll get through this. We'll get through this this uh, row, and then we'll we'll call it a day. Hinges, sleep number beds. This be interesting to people. Anyone interested to see the products from King Jack? What is King? Uh, antennas, satellite antennas, and regular TV antennas. Okay. Any takers? Somebody asked about updated, upgraded solar kits. So you know, I haven't seen any solar vendors here at the show. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. I thank you for asking. I just realized we haven't seen any. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we gotta show these. Okay, turning around. Alright. Do you guys mind being live on YouTube? Right no, we're now? not. 
Okay. So, why are... Why? First, I'm envious. Why are you here? I'm envious that well, you're in pajamas. We but. were told everybody was going to wear PJs, so... You, you missed the memo. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, seriously, though, what are you... Uh, what are you so we are selling uh, mattresses. We are with Mobile Sleep Components. Upgraded. Okay. Yes, mattress upgraded solutions. mattress solutions. So we're selling the comfort of home in your RV. Okay. So what would be different about these mattresses? Do you have everything. like a cutaway? Everything. Uh, we do have an example, yeah. So this is what our competitor's mattress looks like. So you can see that it's just one solid piece, not much to it, very right. basic. It's, and this it's is, all right. Oh, we're and covering we her up. Ours. And then we have ours, which has all these extra layers. It's one of these like cooling layer. Cool, cooling. cooling. That's what that's I was going to get it because I do not like sweating one. in bed. Very, that is very awful. comfortable. We have a 10 year warranty, very important. So anything happens, sags, dimples, anything like that, let us know. And it's a very, very easy process to go ahead and get that replaced. Okay. What's the company name again? It is uh, Mobile Sleep Components. <laughs> mobile Sleep Components, and we can just like mobilesleepcomponents.com? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, you're up. Don't give you a little man, are you? Okay. Right, yeah. I guess you could say that. He he they actually took some photos for, for us earlier, so we yeah. met those ladies earlier, and they were fun. <laughs> All right, okay. I think this is, uh, this is it. Coming to the, oh, we're back around to Zantra. Back around Zantra. Oh, I think let's exit the pit. Okay. Uh, should we just go? Let's go here. All right. It's a quicker way out. <laughs> She's like, here, let me get you a way. Fixtures. All right, pretty fixtures. I don't know where they would go in our van, but it'd be incredible. I just like them. I just <laughs> yeah. I, it's nice to get some decent styling. I would like these in my RVs. house. That would be beautiful. And, oh, look at this bowl. This is an actual product. No. This no, okay. <laughs> pretty sure we bought that at Meyer. <laughs> okay, we got people. We got to get back to work, Steph. We're, we we should right, get going. All right. Okay. Turn the camera around. I got that. I got this. All right. All right, everyone. So we've walked through all the vendor booths. Sorry about our internet connection. Tomorrow at our live chat, it'll be better because we can use the Wi Fi because we're not moving. We're just staying in the Winnebago booth for our live chat with Russ Garfield. Right. And that's tomorrow at 4 30 Eastern. Eastern. So Yay. do your own time translation from there. So for those of you diehards that stuck with us through this whole thing, thank you. Thank you and very much. Have a great day, everyone. All we're right. out of here. This is James and Steph. We're out of here. Bye. Thank you, Steph. All right, now how Martha, do we how do we stop you. this? <laughs> we'll just stay on all day.